Hello, I'm Elizabeth Webb, your yoga lifestyle coach. Welcome to Perifemoris Syndrome. So if we're having hip pain or maybe our buttocks hurts or we're tight, then the perifemoris, that's a hard muscle to pronounce. Can, if we work with that muscle, it can be very helpful for opening up the hips. When that muscle is real tight, we're probably sitting too much, maybe we're doing too much activity. Yeah, it's interesting, yin and the yang. Yin, you know, for passive and sitting too much, that can cause discomfort, tightness in the hips. Yang, if we're overactive, too much aggression, then, you know, that can cause symptoms in the hips. So today we're going to begin by lying on our back. So let's tune in with our abdominal strength. Let's see how slowly we can lower ourselves down onto the ground. And we're going to start by squeezing our knees into the chest. So let's take a look at this muscle, the piriformis. <laughs> there, I think I finally pronounced it correctly. The piriformis muscle is located within the hips within the buttocks, right about this area. And just a simple knee squeeze. Yeah, just give your knees a hug into the chest. Ah, and when we just take a moment to care for ourselves, as you can see, that's a nice opening in the hips, just taking a moment just to squeeze the knees into the chest. And of course, in today's episode, we're going to look at many different things that we can do to help with the opening, the release of that muscle. And for instance, let's just squeeze one knee into the chest. And as we squeeze this one leg into the chest, notice how we probably can squeeze this knee in a little firmer, a little tighter. And then we'll switch legs. And as we switch legs, the leg that's straight, even if we think about really straightening this leg, pressing through the heel, at the end of the leg, and as we engage the leg, we can notice that we're creating length, we're creating space within the hip region. And now let's do a full body stretch. Lift the arms up overhead, straighten both legs, and as we lift the arms up, and as we stretch open, see if you can be aware of the elongation. Then let's come back to our knee squeeze, hugging both knees into the chest, and then hold on to just one leg and squeeze that in. And let's come into our full body stretch, lengthening the leg, lifting the arms, and then let's reach for the other leg. Let's just go back and forth like this alternating our legs and realizing that when we take time and we mindfully move through our postures, just because we're mindfully moving through postures, that's going to give us benefit. And especially if we do it the yoga way, of course, right? <laughs> then we're going to have even more benefit. 
So that means as we open up, that's the in-breath. And as we close up, squeezing one of the knees into the chest, that's the out-breath. Try to breathe in and out just through the nose. I did an audible exhalation so you could hear me exhaling. But just taking time for yourself is so important. And you can even do this in a chair. You know, just sitting in the chair and just lift one leg up and squeeze that knee into your chest. That can be so beneficial. We're just going to do this one more time on each leg. And we're aware of our breath, exhaling, squeezing. <sighs> finishing up here. And now let's come up to sitting. So let's finish with that full body stretch. Yeah, and then we'll bend our knees and bringing the head up and we can do some spinal rolls and rolling back and forth on our spine. And then when you're ready, let's come into a spinal twist. So lots of different variations to come into a spinal twist. Coming into the spinal twist can be where we take our left leg nice and straight and then we could just hold our right leg in and just try to sit nice and tall. If this is comfortable, we can take the left leg over towards the right and then bring the other leg in. See how that feels. Now, if you bend your knee and then you're sitting like this with the hip off the ground, then you have to go back to keeping your legs straight because you want both sit bones on the ground. And maybe pulling the knee in like I'm doing is beneficial. If you want more sensation, you can bring that foot on the outside. And again, if you're like this, maybe you can feel your muscles releasing down to the ground. And sometimes we have to wait for that piriformis muscle to elongate. And that means that you want to feel the same amount of pressure on both of the sit bones. Okay, this is our spinal twist. So lots of different ways to get into this. We can take our left hand to the right leg and then place the other hand behind us and try to pull ourselves towards. But remember, we're doing yoga, so we're really bringing in awareness into the core. And this is a great one to open up the hips. So if you're spending a lot of time, like at the office, sitting, this might be a great pose to help unwind, coming into a twist. Or we can use the elbow and push the hand. And then we're twisting all the way to the back. Now let's try that on the other side. And remember all the different layers that we can think about here. So we can think about the right leg, keeping it straight, pulling it in, maybe stepping over. How are you doing? Can you follow along? Maybe this is where you need to stay. Mm -hmm. So this is a little challenging for me to come into the full expression here. So we're going to hang out together and we're going to wait because I have a lot of pressure on this sit bone 
and there's not enough pressure yet on this sit bone. So we want the body, we want the hips to open up. So often in our society, <laughs> we think way too much. And, you know, we have that mentality that we want to just keep going. So I challenge you, <laughs> yep, just sit still and notice, observe, be aware. There, now that hip finally released. Both sit bones have the same amount of pressure. That piriformis muscle is nice and open. And then, ah, oh, yes. We can come into the full twist and we can twist through the neck as well. So let's look all the way to the back. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, there's so many different poses that we can do to help with the tightness that we would have in the hip region. And today I'm just showing you just a handful of poses. Right now we're just doing kind of like windshield wipers with the legs, just allowing the legs to come into balance and letting go of any tension, any stress. Yes, that a pose can cause because I like to think that we can challenge the body, but in a very respectful, mindful way. The same way we were with watching, observing, waiting. All right. So let's take our left leg and let's think about forming a triangle with this left leg. So if you look at the middle, have that draw a line into the center of your shin. So we have our shin here, we have our center, and make sure that we're lined up. And that means that the knee is out to one angle, and at that same angle, the ankle is out. Hmm. There, how's that look? Nice and lined up? All right, so this might be a challenge, just letting this leg be like this. And maybe that's the full expression of your pose. To get a little further, we might have to lean back so that we can bring the ankle above the knee. And then we want this knee above this ankle. Now this might be really tight, and you might just use your arm strength to lift your chest up. And then you can feel how that's opening the outer hips. Okay, let's see if we can engage the abdominal muscles to lengthen upward. And <laughs> I love showing this pose to the kids. I was able to work with a six-year-old last week. Oh, that was so enjoyable. And I was showing her this pose. Yep, I called it the sandwich pose for her. And she was able to make a sandwich with her legs. I guess I have an open-faced sandwich. She had a beautiful closed sandwich. And then she was able to plop her forehead on the ground and extend her arms straight out. But I, probably like you, have a lot of sensation going on. So just trying to sit nice and tall ooh, is giving lots of sensation, which is fine. And this is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the tightness to release on its own so that if we've been diagnosed, yes, a diagnosis for piriformis syndrome. If you've been diagnosed with that, or maybe an early detection to prevent that, then this episode is for you. So 
it's always a good idea to get with a yoga therapist, you know, find one in your area, um, reach out to me as a yoga therapist, and, you know, make sure that you're um, being guided or just, you know, watch this episode again and again and just really listen to the cues and be aware of what I'm sharing so that you can get into the poses appropriately, whether you're getting with an instructor, a yoga therapist, somebody that's educated like myself to guide you through many other poses as well as these few that I'm sharing with you today. So notice how the more time we sit in this pose, notice how there's more release happening in the hip. So be aware of your body and where are you feeling this? So I guess this is going to be the full expression here on this side. Now as we change sides, pay attention to your body and see if there's a difference, you know, on one side compared to the other side. So to come out, we can lean back. Let's be nice. We're practicing yoga, of course, right? So we're going to help the leg come up and out. And we're going to help move the leg. And let's be aware of, <laughs> yes, I love that. So we did that pose just on the first side. And now, wow, one side of the body feels so much different than the other side of the body. So then we'll do the same thing on the other side to have an intention to bring in balance. Okay, so we've got the alignment. Yep, and then ankle on top of knee. And then knee on top of ankle. Yeah, beautiful triangle pose that we're making. And now within your body, are you able to fold forward? Are you able to place the hands on the ground? Are you able to walk your arms forward? Are you able to place the forehead on the ground all the while keeping your spine straight? So for me to keep my spine straight, I'm going to stay up here. And as we stay in this pose, notice how I'm a little closer. Notice what you're doing. What is your body doing? Are you joining me? Yes, you can do, do this maybe on the couch or maybe a big chair. Yeah. Oh, I love any of these poses that open the hips. I think we tend to be a society of not everybody, but I know a lot of people that have the tight hips and that have been diagnosed with various hip conditions. Yeah, look how close that's getting. Look how we're giving the body permission to unwind. We're giving ourselves time to slowly get into the poses more and more deeper. All right, so let's take our time. Let's come out of the pose by helping, moving. That was pretty intense. So take your time, move slowly. And now let's shake. Ah, shake out the legs. Mm, just getting the blood back into the areas. If that was pretty intense, you know, it's possible that the blood stops. Um, and then this can help get that blood to flow. 
Okay, so, oh boy, are we ready for the next one? So, again, we'll start with the left leg. And this is called the cow face. So in the cow face, we want to bring our foot around so that this foot, I think of, if this is called the cow face, um, I like to think that this foot then um, must be the ear of the cow. <laughs> All right, so that means we have two ears for this pose. So for me, it was easy enough to swing this leg around so that this foot is next to my hip. Now make sure that you're not bringing it so close that, oops, 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 you're, don't sit on your foot. Make sure it's further enough out. Because remember, we want both sit bones with the same amount of pressure on the ground. All right, so this might be a challenge to bring this foot. <laughs> okay, we can do this, right? Mindfully, respectfully, without causing harm. So maybe you're going to have to just stay here because you're probably feeling a lot of sensation. Maybe you'll be like this. And your body is saying, this is enough. Maybe you can pull on the leg a little bit. And now, I don't believe that there's goals in yoga. However, I like to use the word goals. So, the goal <laughs> is to have this foot back here. So I'm going to just help and walk my foot over a little bit. All right, so my body is, yeah, giving me lots of sensations. So I'm going to respect that. I'm going to hang out with the sensations that I feel. And I'm going to be okay that I'm not in perfect alignment. That is okay because I have a lot of sensations that are happening. And as we work together, and as you watch this episode over and over again, in time, we will have this knee straight on top of this knee. You can see that, and you understand what I'm saying. Good. All right. So we're just going to gently rest our hands. That's just, so we're not pushing, we're just resting. And that gives a little more sensation. And then we're just going to hang out here now, just for a breath. Because we got to do it on the other side. All right. So to come out of the pose, and I'm actually going to show you a different way on this other side to get into the pose in a whole different manner. So first of all, we're going to think about just straightening the legs, have that mindfulness of, oh yeah, I can feel the difference from one side to the next. Take that mental note. Okay, we're going to come up onto all fours, hands and knees. And to come into this pose, you want to look and you want to be able to see your feet on either side of your hips. And then we can sit back. And as we sit back, look at that. We didn't have to like mm, 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 take our time to get into the pose. And so you, you've got to know your body and you have to know your limits because this just put us right into the pose. If your body's not ready for that, then you're switching sides like the same way we did it on that first side. Okay? So otherwise, you've followed along and you're doing this with me. And if you've had any 
tension, any tightness, any cramping in the hip area. This is going to help open that up. It's a beautiful release. It's a beautiful opener. And then again, for just a little bit more of a sensation, we can just take the hands and just gently rest the hands. We're using our abdominal strength to take the sternum and lift the sternum up. And the more the core can be strong, then you can begin to feel that release in the thighs and the hips. Because I think that if we are not working our abdominal strength, then the thighs, the shoulders take over in compensation. And they take over by becoming tense, tight, stressed, because we're not using our core strength. So when we use our core strength, then the shoulders can rest, the hips can open. So that was just a handful of poses that I've had prepared for you today. Now, when you practice this on your own and as you get good at these poses, you know, maybe this can take you 10 minutes to go through all of these postures or choose just one of the poses that resonated for you and do that when you can. So now let's unwind. Let's come out of this pose. So we're going to lean back and we can help the legs open up and then gentle shake. And at the beginning of the episode, we lied on our back using our core strength. Let's do that again. And let's notice, are we a little bit stronger? Because all these poses are helpful for creating core strength, if we're aware of using our core strength. And now let's massage. Let's massage that a little bit. Make some big circles. Imagine you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with your knees. Let's do that one way, and then let's reverse and really feel yourself going back and forth from hip to hip, side to side, massaging. Yeah, good. All right, so now we transition into deep relaxation. So let's extend our legs, let's keep our core nicely engaged as we extend, extend, extend our legs. And now we can let everything relax. Thank you for joining us on this episode. For anything going on with that piriformis, however you pronounce that muscle, <laughs> and trust that doing just one of these poses will open that piriformis muscle, helping if you've been diagnosed with the piriformis synd syndrome. So now, allow yourself to completely release, let go, and relax. Namaste.